Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Virgo, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Virgo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Virgo Spirit Virgo. Somebody is healing from a broken heart here. Okay. Uh, newcomers, uh, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Virgo, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, death. So is that an ending of a connection? I do feel one person thought it would never end or they feel that they feel they got fooled or something. I don't know. Um, they feel that person walked away from them and everything backfired on them. I think they were hoping to that that person would put in the work or they could make it work or something. Well, as one per the other person is, I think, healing. They're healing their broken heart. They're not waiting around anymore. They're making a decision. So let's see what that is. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Virgo. But first, let's um, ask the universe what's really going on, spirit. What's going on with Virgo and their person? Virgo and their person spirit. What's going on at a deeper level? Why are these two feeling this way right now? Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. All right. So the first card here says, Leap of faith. Taking a risk. Somebody's... Uh, Maybe somebody was waiting for the other person to take a leap of faith in love. But uh, I think they could be taking a leap of faith elsewhere. Runner, yeah. Someone in this connection is the runner. Somebody is running, taking a leap of faith in love somewhere else. Soulmate. You were made, meant to meet this person for a reason. So this is a strong soulmate bond as well. So maybe you guys were meant to meet each other for some lessons or something. So let's see. I'm going to start clarifying these cards, but first I'm going to take some dialogue message cards here, Virgo. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify these. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay, let's take a few more from another deck. Virgo and their person. Virgo and their person spirit. All right. Let's take a few more from the last deck here. And then we'll start the reading. Virgo and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. All right. Good to go. Let's start the reading. Virgo, and if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataru at gmail.com. You can re uh, reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I'll always remember you. You're unforgettable. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I feel so stupid. For choosing lust over love. You may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. I'm a completely new and better person because of you. I fear you've moved on from me. We are made for each other. I'm heartbroken. I need to clear my pending karmas. I wanted you, but I couldn't express my feelings for you. I had some inner issues that I needed to work on before I could love again. If I ever made you feel less than, I truly apologize. I want to text you, but I can't find the right words. The way I feel about you really had me confused. 
all right so these were some of your messages Virgo if these were resonating with your storyline let's start this reading but first I'm going to take an angel blessing card and this one is going to be for the viewer now Virgo you could be watching maybe your cross watchers here watching for your energy so a blessing guidance advice or a message be brave Virgo you can tame a lion if you have to don't feel down and out so this is your um, blessing message from the universe to stand up and be strong and brave at this time okay here it is and now we start the reading i'm going to start with person a's energy virgo and um, uh, newcomers uh, please remember these are not gender based and i'm not guessing which side you're on if this is your reading you're resonating with it then you'll immediately pick up which side you're on who this person is for you uh, well uh, it could be a love interest, could be a spouse, could be an ex, could be a business partner, a relative, a best friend. So use your judgment on that. I'm going to focus on person A first and then later we'll move to the other side which is person B for me. Alright, so person A, let's start with you. What's the star card in your feelings, in your emotions? I think person A is uh, into self-love right now. They could be healing, giving them uh, uh, give, giving themselves a lot of self-love right now or maybe dreaming that, you know, I wish I could find new love or something like that because they feel this connection became very toxic. It was toxic. It became too much of a burden to carry. And uh, now it's like, yeah, I want to bring back some happy times. I want to heal my own broken heart. Uh, three of swords in reverse. Yeah, I, th I think they could be looking out to see what else is out there. They could be checking out their options. They could be, you know, uh, seeing what, what's next for me. Yeah, they don't want to spend the rest of their life, you know, feeling bad and sad about a connection which never worked out. It's almost like they want to turn their life around and find their two of cups. Yeah, this person is uh, dreaming, hoping, wishing for maybe a partnership, a new partnership maybe. They are still, they are still wanting a four of wands they don't want to ponder too much or they don't want to sit in depression for too long um, they, this person is trying to heal their own broken heart right now why do you feel you need to do that person eh? tell me what's the two of wands in reverse What's the two of wands in reverse? Person A says, I've been stuck for a very long time. And now, yes, I'm the one who has to be brave and have to now, you know, uh, choose a new path, choose a new direction, make some life choices. What's the choice? What's the choice? One more. They are making a choice to leave behind quietly something that became toxic uh, something that they felt was emotionally you guys were not on the same page or it was becoming toxic it's time to end this connection yeah i think person mm, they are angry they are upset but they are also now in deep reflection i think this person is wanting victory in their life they're wanting victory in their life they want to heal see a third time the star card has come out for the for person a they want they they were not happy i guess and they're looking for their happiness now so how do you feel about this connection then person a how do you feel about person b and how how do you feel about this connection page of wands in reverse Why, what's the page of wands in reverse one more I have a feeling they are trying to, I don't know, this person, I think they're trying to move forward. Uh, they're not really wanting to talk. Why? King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Because they feel it will either lead to some kind of an argument or a fight or something. One more. Yeah, this person doesn't have the motivation left anymore and they are more, I think they are done. I think person A is pretty done because they feel the this connection between the two of you gave them too much stress, too much sleepless nights, too much of, you know, burden. Uh, now they could be, check, you know, guarding themselves. They could be seeing what else is out there. They want a balanced connection. They want to make it, maybe take a leap of faith in a new direction. 
right? So I think the card said that here, taking a leap of faith, yeah, maybe in a new direction. So let's see what action they'll take. But this card I'll open later, Virgo. Let's go to the other side, see how person B is feeling, and then we'll do the action cards together. So person B, you have the fool card in reverse. Why is that? Oh, person B is uh, feeling that person is fooling them. They're playing mind games with them. They're out there probably having fun or being a player or something. I think person B was hoping that uh, they would return back. They would return back. I think there's a lot of stress and anxiety and feeling, you know, what are they up to? They made a, make a, made a fool out of me. Uh, they ended things or they're not making a move. I'm very disappointed. I don't think person B wanted this commitment to be over world card is in reverse so they wanted the ten of pentacles they wanted the commitment and they could be a little depressed right now because they really didn't want this chapter to shut down world in reverse world in reverse yeah they feel person a is lying to them they feel person a is out there having a good time and um, you know, lying to them or made a fool out of them or something. Somewhere they feel person A has lied to them. So why do you feel that way, person B? Seven of Wands, because person B feels that they pushed them away. One more. Because they wanted to be single. They, they Person B feels they dropped me. Uh, because maybe they wanted to be single, they left me single when I was waiting for them to return back. They created uh, unrest between the two of, our, two of us, didn't tell me what was going on or didn't message me or does, don't, they don't talk to me. Well, I think person B was trying to heal the connection or be patient with this connection. They feel that they, the other person left them out in the cold and uh, emotionally or physically walked away from this connection. Uh, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Yeah, like they feel that uh, they feel depressed because they feel the person never uh, offered them, uh, uh, you know, an apology. Let's make up and I love you and I'm sorry. I think somewhere person B was uh, hoping for that. They were hoping, they were keeping themselves stuck because uh, they thought that sooner or later the other person would take action. Now they're very burdened, very uh, feeling very overwhelmed, maybe feeling that person is keeping secrets from them, is moving on. Uh, I don't think they wanted that person to move on towards anybody new or, you know, they feel that, yeah, they were just a promise breaker, heartbreaker. Uh, they just created arguments and fights with me because you know they maybe had another choice or something person b could be trying to spy on person a and, uh, and see what's going on so tell me person b how do you feel about the connection now and how do you see person a seven of swords in reverse Either person B feels that person A has been cheating on them or lying to them or they feel things just backfired on them. I mean, they, f they feel disappointed. I think person B was hoping that the things would heal between the two of you right so they're very disappointed i think they were hoping that things could work out or that person would put an effort now to make this you know come back together and this ten of pentacles would come back together uh, give me uh, eight of pentacles yeah eight of pentacles clarified by the eight of pentacles so person b was very very hopeful that if both of both of you like put in little little effort there could have been uh, a second chance here there could have been a reconciliation or a second chance to this connection. But right now, I think they're going through a tower because they feel that uh, things have disrupted. Yeah, ending has happened or something. They feel that person is ending things with them. I think from person B's side, they were really hoping that this whatever happened between the two of you would transform into a new beginning because they wanted to... Uh, you know, they saw, saw security, safety, long term with their person. All right. So let's see what actions you guys will take then, uh, Virgo. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And while I shuffle these cards now, if the storyline is still resonating with yours, please do leave a thumbs up to let me know or a comment or something. That would be very, very kind of you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. So person A, action, 
from your end towards person B or otherwise? Tower in reverse. Do you want to rebuild or are you allowing the tower to fall now? What's the tower in reverse? Seven of pentacles, knight of swords, two of pentacles, four of wands. I don't know. They are double-minded right now. I mean, they do have love for the other person and they are also disappointed that things didn't work out or things are at a st stagnancy. Um, they are also going through a bit of sadness. They are also going through uh, sadness and feeling all is lost. And um, somewhere I think they were also holding on to that hope that... Yeah. They are also heartbroken. They feel they tried their best. They're also heartbroken. And because they're heartbroken, I think now they're seeing what else is out there or, you know, starting a brand new chapter of their life or something. But they do have a lot of respect for person B. A lot of respect. So whatever happened between the two of you, it's made them extremely sad as well. So person B, well, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Page of Cups. <laughs> I think person B still is hoping that, you know, maybe an apology will work. Maybe they'll apologize to me. Maybe I can apologize to them. Uh, tell me about the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, same Eight of Pentacles thrice now. Uh, they f somewhere feel... They also love person A. They also love person A and they are afraid that maybe they are walking away from them, maybe emotionally. They feel that if we can, you know, choose a direction together or if we can put in the work we can heal this connection but somewhere they are scared they are scared they feel that person is you know following some of their some of their own passions or that's the reason they're pushing me away person b could also be spying heavily on person a as to why why uh, i think they are still waiting for an apology it keeps coming up again and again why because they want to have a reunion so what's the death card then spirit what's the death card is it is there any chance for a transformation or is this over what's the death card six of wands queen of pentacles five of swords the wheel of fortune the magician moon card and the fool card i think there's a lot of stress and anxiety when it comes to this connection it's almost like one person does want to have victory in this connection but the maybe the battles or the arguments or the fights uh, that scares somebody it's like let me just go with the flow and manifest a new beginning that could be person a thinking that Yeah, it's almost like, you know, uh, there is that level of when we are happy, we, we are very happy together. But when it's bad, it gets really bad. Then there are arguments and fights and it's becoming a repetitive cycle. So even though I think there is love here, there has been a lot of uh, chaos as well. And one person at least is getting tired of it and saying, you know what, I'm done here. I need to heal myself or heal my own broken heart and maybe see what else is out there to think about my own happiness now and, you know, do things which make me happy because um, they feel that um, this con connection is not built on a firm foundation and it keeps having towers after towers. Yeah, somebody is going after their own happiness here. It's like I need to feel happy. I need to have excitement in my life. I need to have a passionate brand new beginning while as the other person I think has been waiting and uh, I think because they want they are still hoping that maybe you know an apology can fix things so that's what I have for you Virgo till next time then love and light take care namaste